Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Outer Worlds. I'm your host, Peachy. And we are going to try to find uh, the, uh, the pirate. I was about to say paladin. We're going to try to find the pirate who started the massacre at uh, their home place. So we're gonna have to do some running. I uh, I also changed the barrel on my light machine gun to increase the rate of fire. So this is uh, this is gonna be interesting, really interesting. Whoa! Much Bloody hell! be draining bullets like mad. <laughs> I like this barrel. Now if only I could find a heavy machine gun and put the exact same mod on it to make it fire faster. That is gonna shred a lot of people. I don't even need my uh, that one. Yeah. No, I won't use that one either. I need to find myself another heavy machine gun because I am getting into heavy weapons, and heavy weapons are treating me well. Oh, hey, Leonara! there. Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. You're welcome, lass. Oh, last time I was in the city, Sandra was singing your praises about a bolt something or other. Suppose that warrants a discount. Oh, thank you. You want to buy something? Yes. Tell me what you have. Any good weapons? Plasma cutter gold. Hmm. Get some light, get some heavy. What else you got? Um, hmm. Another fun times barrel. <laughs> uh, nothing? Really? Okay, let me uh, go ahead and sell some stuff then. Keeping you, so I can give you to what's his face. So you and you and you. Uh, what else? The helmets I'm keeping. You I'm selling. Um, uh, wait, hold on. Mag to zap. Magnum I'm keeping. BD might Zacto site, sell me Gyro site, uh, Fun Tom's Barrel, Sure and Strite, and Whisper Quiet. And sell you lots, of course. Perfect. Hello again. Hello. You want to buy something? Actually, I want to probe you for information. Surprised you're so chipper about working out here. You never did tell me how you got captured. Oh, it's nothing out of the ordinary, really. I was on my way to Fallbrook and got jumped by insane bloodthirsty cannibals. It happens. <laughs> I'm surprised you're so chipper about working out here. <laughs> hey, life's too short to be worried about danger this and careful that. I'd rather just do my job and try and enjoy it. You really are Mrs. Brightside. <laughs> Have fun with all that. Truly, I will wish you well. <laughs> it's not a bad philosophy on life. Don't mess with us. That's 
right. Don't mess with us. Okay, I feel we are almost there. Oh, hey, it's that outpost again. The one I passed several times. <laughs> At least now we'll finally be able to get into it. I'm good. Are you good? Alright, use terminal. Enter code. Yes! Let's get in here. Hey, pretty nice place. Great work. Lots of bits lying about. Data cartridge, too. Wow, there is lots of stuff lying around. Bypass shunts. Messages. Work order UDL 211 status report number one. Recording engineer Walt Kowix. Tunnels are in, cables are laid, Devil's Peak is receiving, but we're waiting on signal confirmation from the outposts. This whole place stinks of sulfur. We shouldn't we should have brought masks. I'm sure I heard something in the caverns beneath the tower. Something's living there. Here's hoping we don't unsettle it, or else that place ain't gonna be safe for our cable guys. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It wasn't safe. <coughs> We've got signal from Amber Heights, Stella Bay, and Cascadia. That that's what it is. I keep I keep forgetting the name of that bloody town, and it's Cascadia. Still waiting on word from Basaw Terrace and Aurora Ridge. I ought to know that I was right about those caverns. They ain't safe. Some kind of hell, I don't know. A big thing with claws. I ain't an animal scientist. Can't wait to get the hell off this rock. Has been completed. This substation is now will now be disabled and closed off. It should be noted that the lead engineer, Franklin, has perished due to a workplace accident involving hostile wildlife. In the Devil's Peak Caverns. It should be further noted that Mr. Walkowitz's complaints regarding the dangers of the Terror One wildlife have been redacted. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, so that's the public notice. Gonna die for this damn fool here, and I know it. He said Amber Heights always gonna have more baits than we can spend, but those suited morons up and spent it all for us. Books and vices and petty shit. You can't eat a fucking book. <laughs> Look at us now. Of all the of all the closets to coop up in and lick our wounds, we had to choose the one that's set up that's set to lock itself up. Feel like a marauder digging at the walls like this, but we gotta get out of here before we starve. It ain't possible, but Nelson over there is trying to keep our spirits up, and I don't got the energy to fight him on it. Screw that Byrant fella, Br Bryant fella, eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. Eek! I am so sorry that happened to you, mates. Hemlock's eye patch, eh? Kinda curious what the stats it has. Oh, a 
I certainly had some ammunition to fight the stuff all. So, what is Hemlock's eye patch? Sneak attack damage plus 10%. That'd be good for uh, snipers. Cool. You found a suspicious data cartridge. This might be what Zora was looking for. Alright, time to return to Zora. And then hopefully we can find the truth. Because the truth shall set us free. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the map. Fast travel to where we're supposed to go. Cause I, I'm really eager to see what happens, and I know you are too. And we should be able to get it in this episode. Key keyword should. And that'll only happen if I use fast travel. <laughs> Which I'm doing, thankfully. <clears throat> I've had enough of the facade of running from place to place. At least for now. I may, uh, I may do it if I play Skyrim or Fallout 4 again. Welcome back. You find anything out there? I sure did. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. What? Interesting. Yeah. He did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. You be good, Zora. Yeah? I don't want anything happening to the most, one of the most interesting characters. <laughs> Let's see here, space crime continuum, turn to Lilia. Uh, command quests. Alright, let's go to Radio Free Monarch. Finish that up real quick. Uh, where is that at? Here it is. So, Graham caused or ordered the the, the massacre on Amber Heights, I think it is. Good God, that bastard is bloodthirsty. He probably wanted everyone gone so he could start anew. <laughs> okay. There's still enemies here. Hey, uh, hey, Ram. How do I get up to him again? I can't remember. Hey, Ram, the airways are clear. You can transmit. Isn't that fantastic? Who the hell are you? Sure, I'm glad the station's under control again. All right. This means we get paid. You're one of the C3s. <laughs> and on that note, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks everyone for tuning in or and watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy the next one as well. Cheers.
Guess what, hey Ram? You're free to broadcast your nonsense. Wait, what was he gonna broadcast again? <laughs>